Hi Sagittarius, welcome to a new reading. What to expect from tomorrow? Well, let's find out. We have our tea leaves here. I will pull for you a few cards and we will see what's happening, what is coming for you, my dear soul. Let's see. All right. I feel like I should take more. So we will. All right. And all right. This three also. So let's see. Sagittarius, what do you expect tomorrow? First message. Wow. We have the tulip with great passion. That's nice. We have dog with pleasure with a close friend. You have the unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. You also have the cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. You also have the cat. A two-faced friend. You have the month of August. You have the mule here. Someone is extremely stubborn and willing, unwilling to change. You have younger men. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. You have the pineapple with reconciliation. You have the vine. Seek out information that will help you. And your last card here is handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Now, so what's tomorrow for you? Let's take a look. Now, for some of you, you may spend some time with a special friend here. Now, nothing bad can happen. Just trust yourself. Just have a great time. Just meet with these friends. Just be you, you know? Enjoy the time together with some friends here. Others of you, you have here someone with who you need to have a conversation. A two-faced friend. Um, you have the reconciliation with the pineapple here, which shows that there is possible to reconcile with a friend here that maybe disappointed you at some point, but um, you you can make things better. For others of you, around the month of August, things will get better with a friend, or around this month, you will um, you will learn more about a friend, close friend of yours. All right. You will also, um, you know, it's like a lot of people around you. And I get the feeling that you discover that the people that you know um, are not quite how you thought they are. Um, there is something with the people that surround you. So you will see more clear. Maybe tomorrow you will be like surrounded by your friends and you will start to see all kind of of you know, signals, trust your intuition. Um, no matter what is the, the, the situation, you, you are protected. All right. You are protected. Also, tomorrow is a great chance to meet a new future friend, someone younger than you can be, um, someone with who you will, uh, just get along, you know, also don't, um, waste your energy, Sagittarius, trying to, um, to change how people think, how people um, act and things like this. Do not waste your energy with, with, uh, some, with something like that because it, it is just indeed a waste of energy. Now, um, tomorrow... So you are surrounded by people. You may also, you know, see someone that you are not that happy to see because of certain past situations. But again, 
It is about minding your own business and trusting your intuition, um, especially if you are trying to do something new here. So we have the Ten of Wands for you tomorrow. We also have Six of Cups. And we have the High Priestess. So again, a strong message here that you are about to meet someone from your past. Someone with who you have a past, right? And it's going to be a little bit awkward. It's going to be like, you know, uncomfortable for some of you. Whatever the situation is, how to go easily through it is by trusting yourself, your intuition. You also have here again the high priestess. So just trust yourself and try to, you know, don't hold on to the past because whatever happened in the past, it happened, it's done, it's over. You need to address uh, the situation once and for all. Um, you know, you need to, if you feel like you need to have a conversation, go ahead do it if this is going to bring re relief for you and you will you know be able to um yeah to take some heavy things um from your shoulders so with the ten of wands some cards are jumping here you have this um card of you deserve so you deserve to um find peace to make things easier for yourself, especially if we talk here about a person, you think of them, whatever happened in between you and them, it's kind of like it's, it's still there on your mind. So maybe tomorrow is that time when you just uh, choose to clear out the air in between you and a person here. Um, and this way, you know, you will reclaim your power with this card specifically it talks about taking your power back because having this situation right in your mind is quite consuming you so you may decide like you know what let's let's do this let's have this conversation let's let's see where will take us your last card here is the trust card and it's saying the universe has a plan for you remember you are protected with the cobweb there. So don't be afraid to address certain situations in between you and certain people's, people in your life. Because in the end of the day, this is how you can move on. By dealing with the problem, not avoiding it. So, my dear Sagittarius, if you are looking for a sign, this is your sign, my dear soul, that some things you just have to take control and deal with them once and for all. So, my dear soul, I wish you to have a great day tomorrow. All the things that are on your soul to become easier. You've got this. You deserve better. Take your power back from anyone and anything that took it for you. Don't hold on into past things because it is just exhausting and you deserve better. My dear soul, if you resonate with this reading... If you want to support my channel, please give a thumbs up to this video. Helps a lot. Write me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Subscribe because it's totally free. And I would love to have you here in the community. Dear soul, I see you tomorrow. Love and light.